Hi everyone, welcome to our talk. I am Mang Mang Cai, PhD, JD, Attorney at Law at New Wei Ming Law Group. The topic for this video is what if your immigration petition is denied? Each year, numerous immigration petitions are filed to the USCIS, and of course, they cannot be 100% approved. The USCIS actually publishes uh, statistical data regarding how many cases are approved and how many are denied each year. Uh, this is just similar to like if you apply visa abroad uh, in a U.S. embassy or consulate, applicants contact us after their case is denied, and of course they are nervous, uh, they want to get help, but we need additional information in order to provide analysis and better help. So first, when the application is denied, you need to know uh, what kind of application it was. Was that visa application or was that an immigration petition? Was that I-140 or 485? And then why the case was denied? Was that because there's not enough evidence, or some important documents were not submitted? Or uh, was that because of procedural issue? Maybe the application was submitted prematurely, maybe before the visa number was available. Or maybe the case itself overall lacks merit. So we need to see the notice from the USCIS in order to better analyze why the case was denied. You know, uh, we just mentioned like I-140, which is an important immigration petition step, and that includes EB1A, NIW, EB1B, or other type of application. And for work visas, you know, there can be H-1B, O-1, L-1, different work visas. And sometimes applicants have the change of visa status application, such as from F-1 to H-1B or from J-1 to other visa types. We will analyze for the applicant. And depending on the reason why the case was denied, we can suggest either to resubmit the application later or submit a motion to reopen, or motion to reconsider, or an appeal. For this motion or appeal, well, time is an essential factor. Those motion or appeal usually must be filed within 30 days, or at most 33 days from the date the application was denied. So uh, beware of the due date, the deadline. And what are the difference here of the motions and uh, the appeal? Well, for the motion to reopen, the idea is the applicant will state that in the original application, there are some documents that were not submitted. And now the applicants will provide additional document to better support the case so that the case may get approved. For motion to reconsider, well, there is no additional evidence involved. There are simply arguments the applicant will describe and argue well, why the case should be approved. And then there's also the appeal to the Administrative Appeals Office or the AAO. And for either the motion or the appeal, you need to fill the I-290B form with the USCIS governmental fee of $675. And of course, there's also the appeal to the BIA, but that is often for like asylum or removal proceedings. And in the rare cases, the appeal can also go through the U.S. courts. We have helped clients in filing motion and appeal and received approvals. For example, there's one EB1B case in which the USCIS denied the application and alleged there's not enough financial documents. Well, we filed the motion and we submitted additional documents and the case was approved later. In another example, the 485 was denied because the USCIS alleged well, the marriage certificate was issued abroad and not recognized. After we filed the motion, the case was approved. Also recently, there is a EB1A I-140 petition uh, which was denied by the Nebraska Service Center. The immigration officer alleged that the applicant's background is not strong enough for the EB1A approval. We appealed to the AAO and we received approval after the appeal. So overall, as we can see, there are always opportunities. Even if, God forbid, the case is denied, well, we can consider either to appeal 
or resubmit application with additional evidence with updated supporting materials to get the case approved. Okay, so again, this topic is what if your immigration petition is denied, how to respond, how to address the issue. Thank you.